Hello YouTube, Shane here with video number 9 in the Aquaponics playlist. Safety tip, make sure to wear safety goggles and gloves and a lab coat because in this video we're going to be going over pH and these chemicals are not safe. So coming up, pH from everything I got, tank's been going now for about a week and a half with fish so should see some good readings. See you in a bit. In the pH and that's three drops and then put the cap on and give it a good shake and next I will be doing the high range pH and the high range takes five drops and then again just give it a good shake and let it down and these ones are good almost instantly for results you don't have to wait and next up I'll be doing the ammonia. The ammonia is a two-part process. So bottle one here for eight drops. And after eight drops are done in this bottle, have to cap it and give it a good shake. And then I'll take bottle two and drop in another eight drops. Do that now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. And cap that off again. Give it a good shake. And then let that sit for five minutes and results will be ready. Next up, I'll be doing the nitrate. This is also a two part process. So I'll be using bottle one here. And I have to add. 10 drops of this solution. Do that there. All right. And now I have to cap it. Shake it up really good. And then put it back down and put 10 drops of the second bottle in there. And after 10 drops of the second bottle are in, you shake it up again and wait 5 minutes. And there's a little bit of time in between here that I'm cutting. I'm actually shaking these bottles a little bit longer than it shows. Make sure to shake them for at least 30 seconds. So now I'm doing the nitrate. Sorry, the nitrite. And this one's just one bottle and it's five drops. And here's a time lapse, the next five minutes going across. It's right here on the left with pH. As you can see, it's all the way yellow. So that's about 6.1, even less maybe. Next step is the high range pH. And that's barely right there. There's that. Next up is the ammonia. We actually have some on here. It's about I would say point three point Point three five, and here is the nitrate. It's over here. And this one's zero, yellow. And it's for nitrate, and we're still at zero. And since the pH was so low, I added one liter of water from the fridge through a filter into the grow bed and there's that and then follow that up with two squirts of liquid potassium or liquid potash and this will raise the pH and also add potassium and one more liter of tap water and this tap water is at about 7.2 parts per million pH so Adding these two liters of 
tap water plus that potassium will raise the pH where I want it. And now let all that water from the Grow Red mix with the water in the tank. And I'll do one more reading on the pH and see if it is any higher now. And you can tell that it's already looking a little darker from those drops. I haven't even mixed it yet. And give it a good mix. And you can see that it's now at a good 6.4. That's it. Thanks for watching. Leave any questions or comments you have, and have a good day.